Draymond Jones, former uh, teammate in college who just got paid, right? Denzel Ward earlier this week, mega deal and, and whatnot. That was um, high on the mind of Draymond Jones when he met with the media earlier this week. What exactly did he say? And I'll pull up the article. He congratulated his former roommate, and he made it a point to say that everyone wants to to break the bank. Everyone wants what he called a big payout. So it's a not-so-subtle indication that he's looking to also do the same with the Broncos, but it's Andre Mon Jones. Denzel Ward went out there and proved he's one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, and now he's the highest-paid cornerback in NFL history. Well, Draymond's entering a contract year. He's scheduled for unrestricted free agency in 2023, and he knows if he balls out, he has 12 sacks in his career. If he gets 12 sacks this year alone, that's what would qualify as a breakout. And when you're a breakout young 25-year-old player, especially a defensive player, you get paid. You get the bring struck at your feet, and that's what Draymond Jones wants. But I like what he said you know, I, I have to focus on football. That stuff will take care of itself. He realizes he has to go out there and prove it. The Broncos aren't going to pay him for no reason. Certainly nothing to what Denzel Ward received from Cleveland. But this is the caveat, though. If you look at the Broncos' uh, list of free agents for next year, Draymond is one of the few players that's a foundational prospect. He's a guy that you bring back on a second contract if it's feasible and if he's worth it. And I feel like if he goes out there, now the Broncos' top interior defensive lineman after the Shelby Harris trade, he goes out there and balls in this defense. Maybe he outsacks Bradley Chubb, outsacks Randy Gregory. He's going to get a hefty payday. He wants that, but he has to work for it. I don't know, dude. Denzel Ward has been good, but I wouldn't say he's been great his first uh contract as a as a pro i mean he's got two pro bowl nods under his belt which surprises me like he was so, really good this past season he had uh let's see he had three picks uh returned one for 99 yards golly uh 10 pass breakups the year prior he had 18 pass breakups his two pro bowl seasons zach are 2019 and 2021 in 2019 uh he only appeared in 12 games and still made the pro bowl now, that wasn't the year the Browns were good, right? It was 2020 when Baker had that 11-win season, if I'm not mistaken. But I am uh, digressing a little bit here. It's there for Draymond Jones. 